If you ever printed off a worksheet that had two or more pages, you'll find that maybe on the second and third page, that when you're looking at the data, you don't know what you're looking at because the uh, column headers are not on the second or third page. It's only on the first page. So I'm looking on the second page. I don't know what these numbers are or if this is last name or first name. Well, we can take care of that by setting the page layout to repeat the column headers or this row at the top of each page. But before you do that, I want to take a look at the print preview to show you what it looks like because as you recall anything you see in the print preview is what you're going to get when you actually print this worksheet off so come up here click on the office logo button come down to print and go to print preview now if I click on the center of it I zoom out when I click on the center again I zoom in so there's the first page click on the next page I'm gonna click on it to zoom out you can see it up at the top I have no column headers but I want to repeat the column headers or that row at the top of each page now I could come here and click on page setup and go to the sheet tab and say repeat rows at top but it's not going to allow me to do that I actually have to get out of print preview to do this so that's why I can't click in here or do anything so I'm going to click cancel close out of the print preview and there's my print lines or my page breaks and if I scroll down there's another one right here so from this row on that's going to be on page two so I'm going to hit control home come up here on the page layout tab go to the page setup group and click on print titles takes me to the sheet tab or you can close out and click on the expandable dialog box button which gives us the page setup screen but again we want to go to the sheet tab so there's more than one way to get to the sheet tab and then what I want to do is I want to click on the collapse dialog box button for repeat rows at top and then after it collapses I want to move my little arrow over here and click anywhere in the row that I want repeated up at the top of each page that I print off and you can see it adds the absolute sign here row 4 colon row 4 through row 4 just only row 4 I'm gonna go ahead and click on the expandable dialog box button and if I want to take a look to see what it looks like before I actually click OK or click print I can click on the print preview of course we're on page 1 we know that what that looks like but I'm gonna click next page and hey that looks pretty cool when I zoom in it actually repeated the column headers up at the top of this page and if I had a third or fourth or fifth page they'd also repeat there as well looks good now I'm ready to go ahead and print this off but I'm gonna close out